In this video, I am going to explain about the structure of ovule. Ovule is otherwise known as megasporangium. This is the longitudinal section of the ovule. This is anatropous ovule. It is because the body of the ovule is inverted. So, it is known as anatropous. If orthotropous ovule means the body of the ovule is straight because the micropyle is here inverted. So, it is known as anatropous ovule. Next, this body of the ovule has covered by two layers. These layers are known as integuments. There are two integuments in this ovule. This is the outer integument. This is the inner integument. So, it is known as bitechnic ovule. In some plants, there is only one integument is present. So, that is known as unitechnic ovule. Uh, for example, in gamopetalus flowers. But bitechnic ovules are found in polypetalous and monocot plants. Next one, this integuments protecting the embryo sac. Next, there is an opening is found here. This opening is known as micropyre. During fertilization, pollen tube enters inside the embryo sac through the micropyre. Not only in on plants, some plants pollen tube enters through the calizas. In some other plants, pollen tube enters through the integuments. Next one, this is the parenchyma tissue found in between the integuments and the embryo sac. This is a nutritive tissue for the embryo sac. But in some astrocyte members, the nucellar tissue has degenerated earlier. So, the inner integument acts as a nutritive tissue for the embryo sac. So, that is known as integumentary tapetum or endothelium. Next one, the stalk of the ovule is known as funiculus. This is the stalk of the ovule. It connects the ovule and the placenta. It attaches on the placenta. This is the stalk of the ovule. Next, this is the point where the stalk of the ovule and the body of the ovule is connected here that is known as this place is known as hilum next opposite to the hilum that is a margin this marginal area is known as rafe next this is the junction here the funiculus nucellus and the integuments are merged here that is a, this is the connection this place is known as galiza Next, based on the presence of nucellar tissues, there are two types, tenu-nucellate ovule and quasi-nucellate ovule. In tenu-nucellate ovule, uh, in between the epi epidermis and in the microspore, megaspore mother cell, there is only one layer of nucellar tissues found here. So, that is known as tenu-nucellate ovule. But, in grassy nucellate ovule, there are more layers of nucellar tissue, more than two layers of nucellar tissue is found here. So, it is known as grassy nucellate ovule. Grassy nucellate ovule is found in polypetalous and monocot plants, but in tenu nucellate ovule is found in the gamopetalous plants. Next, what is hypostase? Hypostase means thick walled cells found in between the embryo sac and the caliza. Like this lignified cells found in between the embryo sac and the micropyle is known as epistase. Here, hypostase is found here in between caliza and the embryo sac. Epistase is found in between the embryo sac and the micropyle. Thanks for watching.